This video is brought to you in collaboration with wowhead.com. Hello everyone. We've adventured and explored the Zarlek Cavern, uncovering some of the secrets of Nelfarian, probably best left forgotten. That's only been the tip of the iceberg though, as most of his darkest creations can be found right here inside of his laboratory. We're going into Aberus, the Shadowed Crucible. Aberus is mine! I will heed his call! Then you have made your choice. We cannot let that zealot take control of the lab. What are you looking at me for? Let's go! You will not pursue him. I know he will face justice, but he is lost, and I grow weary of fighting my own kin. But you... Those two must face this without me. I hope, in their pursuit, they will finally see that Neltherian's legacy is death and nothing more. Then let us find the Drakthir, who have not yet succumbed to that fate. Lead the way, Emberthal. Millennia ago, Nelfarian established Aberus as a secret laboratory, where he conducted world-altering experiments, like the creation of the Drakthir. Now recently rediscovered, Aberus is under attack from all sides. As forces seek and acclaim the Urvorder's legacy, they're searching for any power that remains. We've got the Jardin that are looking for their elder, while skill commander Sarkref of the Sundered Flame, they can hear the whispers and want to claim their legacy. This is a goal shared by Raphion and Sibelian, both eager to claim the title of leader of the Black Track of Lights. But what does it mean to follow in the father's footsteps? Is Ebonhorn right? Or is there more to it? Our lines are breaking, Sarkareth. We cannot hold them. Permission to suggest an alternate tactic? During my time serving Neltherian, I assisted him in creating many uh, powerful elements. One of these instruments could be of great service to you, though it may not distinguish between friend and foe. What is this power? In the quest to perfect Neltherian's armor, we went through many iterations. This is one of our more successful attempts. While imperfect, it will be more than enough to destroy these interlopers. Do it! But our troops are still out there! Their names will ever be remembered. Their appearance might remind you a lot of Deathwing, with the plates holding their body together. Although Nelfarian would not use them himself until much later, he did experiment with Elementium plating in the early days of Avarice. The end result of Elementium and Shadowflame, that was Kazora deemed far too unstable for release, driven mad by the excruciating pain of her elementium plates. She now serves as guardian of the Shadowed Crucible. My beautiful Interestingly enough, Deathwing did not start out with elementium plates to hold himself together. He used adamantium steel, forged by goblins, placed upon his body by the enslaved Drogbar. The upgrade to Elementium, that wouldn't happen until millennia later, at the start of the Cataclysm, which was shown in its full glory during the introductionary cutscene. Seeing how much pain it does to Kazara, it might not have been the crazed idea of not wanting to go through the same thing. As the battle continues, more of her plating falls to the floor, which unleashes more of her power. Pools need to be dropped at the edge of the room, while a beam is kited around or ran through those pools. You want to avoid the big ref attack, as well as the bits of armor that are flying around. In this first fight, it should be very doable. I am broken! Finally, its grip weakens. The Sakharath wields some power that can tear at our minds. The Betrayer holds no such power, my son. Sinister forces are awakening. They sense your presence. Father... I am but an echo. I cannot stop intruders from attempting to plunder my secrets. Now that my heirs have arrived, we can ensure no outsider claims what is rightfully yours. I assume you have heard many stories of this place and the role it played in my downfall. Do not let them temper your perception. These halls are your birthright. 
and the outsiders must not be allowed to take them from you. Secure our perimeter! Rathian, I will take a contingent down these halls and root out Sargareth. You take the other path and see what you can find. A wise plan. I shall accompany both of you and lend what aid I can. The shade of dear old dad accompanies Raphion and Sibelian, giving them a tour of the place, the legacy that is theirs to claim. Except it does require embracing all that Nelfarin has done. Our Raphion actively recruited rogues to help get rid of his father, as well as cut out the corruption within the Black Dragonflight. Surely he won't fall to the whispers of their father, right? Within these halls I forged wonders that would shape the world after millennia unattended. They have become unruly. It will take a strong will to ensure their obedience. I... I was also a product of experimentation. One that your previous incarnation attempted to destroy. You are of my blood. The fact you flame and shadow. Both powerful, influential forces. Combined, they become something even greater. Learn to harness them together, and no force can oppose you. Within the Amalgamation Chamber, we can see what destruction the combination of Shadow and Flame can produce. First, we fight off the two forces separate. The Shadow side will have to drop pools away from the others, while the Fire side has flame tornadoes shooting out across the room. Once one of them hits 50% health, they'll merge together into one, and the real fight can begin. Just as the beings became one, so too have their abilities, meaning that we now see shadow flame tornadoes, meteors to soak and pools to run away from, the stuff that helped corrupt Nelfarian, and even now infuses and whispers to beings like Firak. It's certainly powerful, but also uncontrollable. Ah, uh, do you see now? The secrets that shadow flame holds? There is no denying its strength, but it seems too dangerous to truly control. You possess the will to master it, my son. Just imagine what you could accomplish. Now it must be one hell of an experience for Raphion to be able to talk with his dad like this. Let's not forget that he was born or created during the Cataclysm, a time in which Nelfarian was long gone. All that remained was the madness of Deathwing, a threat which Raphion helped to take out. Then during Mr. Pandaria, we saw him deal with the lingering shadow of his father and his own identity, until ultimately stepping up as the thing that we helped create, a true Earth Order, one that would do anything it takes to protect the world, to protect Azeroth. Now the child gets to have a taste of what Nelfarian was like back in the day, but as we've seen outside of Aberus, with field experiments just tossed to the side, here it becomes all the more clear once again, the darkness of Deathwing. It was already present, even now. Oh, I had such high hopes for the Drakthir. But ultimately, the venture was just another disappointment. You, Rathian, must succeed where they failed and carry on my vision. Of course, Father. How exemplary. Congratulations. It was my honor to evaluate the development of Neltharion's Drakthir. Unfortunately, they were too volatile to control. But uh, where others see failure, I see opportunity. This early attempt at creating Drakthir yielded a subject too violent to control. Yet, there is value in documenting the carnage it generates. You will serve nicely as new test subjects. Here, we face off against three different experiments. Number 4, 147, and 328. Who knows how many more took and were discarded before the Drakthir as we know them as today were finally created. Now despite not being allowed onto the field or into his ranks, these field experiments still put up quite the fight. Now this is physically extremely powerful, charging between three different players and crushing them with a frontal cone. Obviously our first prototype lacked the desired strength. The next iteration was imbued with excessive arcane power. Toys to smash! Tedrian has an overabundance of magical powers infused, which need to be avoided or simply healed through, as it erupts violently while debuffs need to be cleansed away from the raid, until the last of the prototypes jumps out of their containment. Sadly, a creature with unstable arcane surges was useless, so we refined the infusion process. 
die, lesser things. My Omphus does look very close to the final product, to the Dragfear, including their signature ability Deep Breath, which they can do at full energy. Best to make sure to avoid that pain. I cannot fail. Your performance is beyond my expectations. Wait, you knew these creatures were waiting to be unleashed? Of course, and you rose to the challenge as I knew you would. This all seems questionable. How malleable is this vision of yours? Mm -mm -mm. I was afraid of this. The process used to create you weakened your spirit. An issue I doubt I'll have with my true-born heir. Apparently Raphion does not live up to the standards of dear old dad. Perhaps Sabellian will have a better shot, as together we're gonna take on a whole invading Jardin army. Sabellian, as my blood, I look to you to inherit. But know there are many who would steal your birthright. Even now, Jardin forces use the chaos to launch an assault. They must be stopped. I will not yield any ground. Let's by Warlord Cockney. The Zakali warband has launched an all-out assault against the Shadowed Crucible in search of their missing elder Rashok. The others we either confronted during a campaign in the caverns, or we fought them as world bosses. But one of their elders has been taken into Aberus. Brutal and ruthless, Cockney is willing to employ any tactics to succeed. Ignara! Time to free! Zakali warriors! Break the door! Reach the Elder! Oh, the leader writes Ignara. Endless waves of Jardin try to scale the walls and break down the door. Up to us to split our forces, make sure none of them get through. Once enough of them fall down, their warlord has no other choice but to confront us on the ground himself. Now he'll try to catastrophically slam the door down himself. An attack that we'll have to collectively absorb while dealing with the ads, bringing down the warlords and being bombarded with his flames. All the same, victory is ours. This door is protected. The Zakali warband fails to liberate their elder. Their ranks are broken. We have won! A fine victory, my son. I expected nothing less. Yet, the crucible is not yet secure. There is one last obstacle that stands in your path. Name it, and I will see it removed. I will be free! How did this Elder get past our lines? This beast was not in the attack. It was what they were hoping to free. It served as effective fuel for the Crucible for millennia. Um, you were training this Jardin for your experiments? Hmm, such a pity. Now we must dispose of it, before the conduits overload and destroy us all. The Dungeon Journal says that Rashok the Elder has been imprisoned within Abarus for a millennia, which had me curious, considering that Nalfarian has been gone longer than just a millennia. This would imply that the laboratory was operational even without its master, and that the Elder was imprisoned only quite recently, which would not be impossible, but it would be interesting. Turns out that it was just a small typo, as Nelfarian says that the Elder has been drained, been used as fuel for the Crucible for millennia. The Jardin that once started as Earth Giants burrowed deep inside of the Earth. The legends do not agree what happened down there, but they all end the same way. Their elders emerged, touched by the fires of the world to be true Jardin, commanding full control over fire and Earth. And this one here is infused with Shadow Flame itself. A battery of sorts used by Nelfarian to keep things going. Not willingly, mind you, and not gently either. Held on the brink of death, perpetually drained of the raging flame. The Elder is quite mad, and his vengeance would scour the shadowed crucible halls. Best to put an end to his suffering by sharing the massive shadow flame circles, dropping the lava pools at the edge of the room, and avoid his massive frontal shadow cone attack while draining the energy when needed. My blood! 
is no longer. <laughs> well done. The conduit will remain dormant, though we need to restore it soon. Perhaps there are fresh jardin outside that you can harvest. You expect me to... <sighs> I will not. I expected more of you, Sabellian. No matter. Perhaps Rathian will have the resolve. The Crucible awaits. Now is the time to stop Sarkarath. Like Rathian, this must be an experience for him as well. Reliving the days under the wings of his father. Sadly, as time on Outlands, it's only explained after the fact, and not something we've been able to experience firsthand. But still, Sibelian has come a long way since the days that he followed the orders of their man under the control of the Old Gods aspect. It must be shocking to see this echo of the past. And of course, neither child can truly live up to what the echo of Nelfarian wants, which, for us, is a really, really good thing. Can you adapt to new hazards? Experimenters as Karn quickly left after we took care of their failed Dragfear experiments. And even now, they don't seem overly concerned about our presence. We've attracted his unwavering attention, but his approval will be much harder to earn as long ago, Shiskarn was tasked with testing the metal of Nelfarin's experiments. Only the most powerful would pass the muster and keep their lives. Around the battlefield, we can see Dragonhead statues that get activated and will deal massive fire damage to a portion of the battlefield. Combine that with plenty of traps on the floor, a fiery knockback adds to join the fights, and perhaps there's a good reason why our scientist isn't too concerned. We do manage our way through any and all of their experiments, and we secure our victory. This was only a precursor to your suffering. With that mewling wretch dealt with, I can now assist you. Enough at least to clear this lava and open the way to Sarkarath. Rathian, I am beginning to question the wisdom of all of this. As am I. But we must stop Sarkarath. Be on your guard. Further down we go, clearing the magma worms, while Magmorex swims around us in circles. Raised from a pup by Nelfarian, the only thing stronger than the loyalty of Magmorex, that would be his appetite. The Lava Hydra guards the passage into the deepest chambers of the Shadowed Crucible, keeping his master's secret safely hidden from any prying eyes. The beastie comes with a knockback and a cone breath attack that we'll want to avoid, while also having us drop massive pools of fire on the floor. Thankfully, we can soak those pools up again to keep the platform clear which gives us enough room to move around and fight. Take down the beastie. Impressive. Unfortunately, we cannot relish this victory. Sarkareth lies just below. With Nelfarian's pet defeated, we can move on again. Fight our way through sundered flame forces of all the different colored flights. Until we're left alone with just the image of Nelfarian. We have come to the end of your journey, champions. What do you mean? Where is Sarkareth? You were never leading us to Sarkareth. Always the clever one, Rathian. I cannot move. <coughs> what are you? I am the whisper in the dark. I had hoped you would see the value of the gifts I offered. Yet you rejected them. The Drakthir eagerly accepted. They were designed to serve. We will never bow to you, deceiver! Wing Lord Desrin only recently stepped away from Sarkaref, but is now instrumental in giving us a chance to stand up against this whisper of Nelfarian. Your usefulness has ended. Some say that echoes of the Earth Warder's powerful presence still linger in these halls contemplating the future of the Black Dragonflights and how to obtain the power to ensure its success. Call it Nelfarian's dark side, or the infusion of the void, or the whispers in the shadows. All the same, this Nelfarian has judged his children, and since neither one of them is willing to follow in his footsteps, they're gonna have to be taken care of. Impudent mortals! If death is what you seek, I shall grant it! Not only does he wield the might of the earth, creating massive barriers that try to separate us from our allies and deal massive damage when broken. 
He also calls upon the gifts from beyond, the darkness of the void, to empower their strikes and aid him in their fights. The gateway is opened, while painful, do gives us a chance to hide away from his lethal ebon destruction, giving us the chance to put an end to the madness of Deathwing, the darkness of Nelfarian once again. The whispers never fade. From his sanctuary, we move to the final section of Nelfarian's domain here. The Edge of Oblivion. The art team has done a spectacular job, reminding me a lot of Karazhan being reflected upside down within the Twisty Nether, which in turn reflected the corruption of its guardian. Here too, we see the tower flipped upside down, the immediate access to powerful forces from beyond that would shape Deathwing and his flight's future forever. His powers are mine to command! Our boy Sarkrev has been basking in those same powers. But he starts the fight, unleashing an oppressing howl that we need to remove with his empowered Dragfit abilities. Abilities like Mass Disintegrate, Searing Breath and Glittering Surge. Combine that with some fire patches and bombs and the fight starts off hurting quite enough. But it's only gonna get worse. As the Dragfear, you will dive deeper into the powers of the Void. The darkness bends to me! Gaze into the endless dark and despair. We're teleported into a whole different domain where we can't stay for too long, but it also gives us the opportunity to drop our void bombs away from the allies, preventing them all from taking massive damage. Now the Dragfear is going to infuse his breath with the powers of the Abyss, a breath attack we most definitely want to avoid, while making sure to kill his null glimmer ads as quickly as we can. Father! Grant me your strength! Stars fall upon you! Witness my ascension! All bets are off now. All boundaries are shattered. Sarkrev fully embraces the void in a final bid for power. His three has a funny way of repeating itself. He truly lives up to the legacy that he's been chasing. The power is no joke either, and we only managed to survive his massive supernova by hiding behind astral formations and sharing the crushing weight of space with his embrace of nothingness attack. He throws everything that he has, but like Nelfarian, like Deathwing before him, fully empowered by the old god Nazoth, this here Dragfear falls to the champions of Azeroth. It was mine. What is this foul place? It feels as though it is somewhere beyond, teeming with raw, dark energy. Sarkareth lost himself to his pursuit of power. Now what will happen to my people? Is this the fate of all who pursue his legacy? Did I not? Uphold your legacy? Was it all just an illusion? Empty promises leading us only to oblivion. <sighs> And that's where the story of Aberus ends, which left me with the feeling of this can't be it, there has to be more. And according to the achievements, there actually is. There is one more chapter to the Embers of Nelfarian main storyline, which is called A Flame Extinguished, which I imagine they time-gated to next week, which is honestly a real shame. Keeping that in mind, the expectation that we will get more story next week, what we have right now, in my opinion, is a reflection. A parallel between Sarkrev and Emberfall, as well as Sibelian and Refion. The two black dragons, they've been competing, fighting each other over claiming the legacy of the black dragonflight. 
without stopping to think what that means, what kind of future they want for their kinds. With 10.1 going down here in the caverns, hearing the voice of their father, the whispers of their voids, their competition, it, it turned up to 11. Up to the point where, for moments, they even followed Nelfarian himself, just to get what he had left behind, until the realization came that they couldn't follow him. They couldn't be as ruthless and dark as he was. Not our Sarkraft, though. His reward for serving loyally in Nelfarian's army, that was to be placed in stasis for thousands of years. Upon awakening, he found the truth of what happened. And whereas an Emberfall chose to look towards the future and find a new destiny for the people, a destiny away from their general, away from their father, Sarkrev held on to that belief that they were owed something, that the legacy of the Black Dragonflight, their mad aspect, Death Wing, that it was theirs to claim. Upon entering the caverns, that too was turned up to 11, and nothing was going to stop him. No sacrifice too much, not even his own troops. He would do anything, only for the whispers to lead him down into oblivion, just like it had with Nelfarian. Leaving the question, what now for the future of the Dragfear and the future of the Black Dragonflights? Bringing the story of 10.1 to a conclusion, which I really hope is going to be in that last chapter, whenever we might get it, which in my opinion, it, it should have played out right after the raid, if it really exists. Ah oh, well, I, um, I guess we'll have to wait for next week to see what's going on. And of course, let's not forget that the Primal Incarnates, they're also still out there. All our adventures in the caverns, while pushing the story of the Black Dragonflight forward, it does nothing to stop an Iridocron, a Firak or Viranov. Those are stories for the future, I suppose. But for now, you're up to speed on the story that goes down in Aberus. Which leaves me with thanking once again Pod Gaming for letting me join the raid team and get these sweet recordings, get this video to you as soon as possible. You're honestly amazing, everybody, and I can't thank you enough. Now, say that you want to see their kill videos as well as some commentary over it, then go check out Eisenhower on YouTube, or go check out the WoW Progress, which I'll link in the description down below. Now say that you want more details on all the things that we talked about today, or you just want to read up on it in your own time, then make sure to check out the related WoW article in the description down below. And for me, finally, that will do. Have yourself a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see ya!